Hello, this is Tom Meeks, and this is 3D Design for Fun and Life, featuring moment of inspiration using the uniquely easy noun and verb method. This session is project number eight, creating a tire and tread. In this session, we are going to create a simple tire with treads. We start out by opening the draw curve tab. We select the center circle. It says, pick a center point, and we will pick the origin. It asked us to pick our radius, but we prefer to use diameter. We change it by clicking on the word radius, and we will enter a value of 100 millimeters. Our next step is to move the circle up. Now that the circle has been created, we will name it 201 tire circumference. This circle will be our tire size reference. Our next step is to create a line. The length of this line doesn't matter because ultimately we're going to redefine the final length based on the circumference of the circle. We select the circle, click on details, calc, copy the calculated value and close the dialog. The copied value is the circumference of the circle. Next, we click on our line. We click on the length and press Ctrl V to paste the copy of the circumference of the circle to the line length. Now the line is the exact same length as the circumference of the circle. We center the line using vert center. We will name the line 301 tread source length. This line is the source reference that will help us wrap our tread around the tire. We now go to either the left or right view. It doesn't matter which one we choose. Next, we will turn to making the profile used to define the cross section of our tire. We begin with a center rectangle. We'll click here, make a rectangle that is 24 millimeters wide. And 16 millimeters high. First, we fill at the top of the rectangle with a radius of 2 millimeters. We turn on show points. Using a three points rectangle along the top edge, we see that from the left corner point to the right corner point is 20 millimeters. We will need to remember this value for use later. Turn off show points. We'll continue to clean up this profile by applying fillet to the bottom corners with a value of one millimeter. We create another center rectangle by selecting the midpoint of the bottom wall. This rectangle will be 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. We will use this rectangle to refine the tire profile. We go to construct, boolean, diff. Nothing happened. Let's see why. By going to the front view, notice that the new rectangle is not aligned with the original rectangle. They should both be on the same plane. We use a line vert center to put both rectangles on the same plane. Now it's going to work. Good. We'll finish the profile by creating four more fillets. All tires need a bead to stay on the rim. We will use a center circle to create the bead and mirror the circle to the other side. We select the profile and go to Construct, Boolean, Diff. We select each circle and click on Done. We'll now do our final fillets. 
Our tire profile is complete. That looks good. We'll name it 100 and one tire profile frames. Returning to the front view. We select transform. Align. Top align. It's very important that we align the tire profile to the top of the circle because that's our outside diameter. There we go. We will use revolve to create our tire. We click on construct. Revolve. Select the center of the circle. And go to the left view to set the revolve axis nice and straight. Our tire appears. We will call this new object 100 tire. Now we have to create the treads. But first, we'll hide the tire and the profile frames, leaving only the circle and the line. Select the top view. We will work at the left end of the line. We are going to create a reference rectangle. We want 100 rows of tread to wrap around our tire. The circumference is 314. Dividing that by 100, we get a width for the rectangle of 3.14 millimeters. The height is going to be 20 millimeters. Oops, we need to fix the height. 20 millimeters. There we go. We now align the rectangle to the right end of the line. All right. Now we need to create the tread pattern. And to do that, we're going to create some three-point rectangles inside the reference rectangle. We'll start here. We zoom in to make it easier. We're going to make a reference line across the midpoint. OK. We're going to create a cut in the tread. We use a three-point rectangle here. We'll copy the rectangle and move it to the opposite side. Edit. Copy. Paste. Move. We'll use three-point rectangles to connect the two existing rectangles. That's good. We will Boolean union these together. Delete the reference line. And use Boolean diff to cut the single tread profile into two profiles. Now we'll create three copies. First, by using mirror. We align our mirrored copy into its temporary position. And then, by using copy and paste. Now we can align the treads. We'll move this up a bit. And we'll move this down just a hair. That works. We select all of the profiles. Go to the front view. Zoom in. We will use extrude in both directions to a height of 2 millimeters. Select the top view. 
We will name the extruded treads 300 tread. And we will mirror the treads across the line. Okay. Now that we have our basic tread pattern, we need to replicate it to create the full tread to wrap around the tire. We use transform, array, direction, and enter a value of 101. We start our array at the left end of the line. And since we already measured the box, we will use the right side of the box as our array gap distance. The tread is created. We'll zoom out and inspect the right side. We can delete the last set of treads. We just needed them to confirm that we had the distance correct. Our measurement was perfect. Now we need to wrap it. We select our tread using the object browser. We'll go all the way back to the left side and zoom in. We click on Deform, and then Flow. Click on the very end of 300 and one tread source length. To select our base curve, switch to the front view, and click on the top of the circle. By the way, notice we extruded on both sides of the line when we created our tread. It's finished. So, we'll turn on our tire to see how it looks. Excellent. As you can see, our tire now has tread. We'll hide the tire so we can rename the wrap tread. We'll call it 110 tire tread. By renaming the wrap tread, we can hide 300 tread and the source line independently. We show our tire again. The tread placement across the seam looks very good. To see how accurately we measured, we'll check the tread on either side of the tire seam. This is the beginning. This is the end and they look perfectly aligned with all the other tread groups. But let's check it out for sure, using our dimension tools. We'll check the distance between two groups on one side. Now the other side. Now we check across the seam. Not bad. Only four hundredths of a millimeter difference. In fact, that's very good. We have done it. While the pattern could be a lot more complex, it definitely is a tire with tread. This is 3D Design for Fun and Life. 3D Design courseware based on Moment of Inspiration by Tom Meeks. Now it is your turn to create your own custom tires.